Kieran Cobbler here for Newsome MMA in partnership with MMA Play 365, giving you the edge in MMA betting. I'm here with a reigning, defending, maybe soon to be vacating to leave to the USC ing Jai Herbert. <laughs> Jai, Jai, that was a magnificent performance. You know, that, that finish was brutal. Just talk me through how you set that up. Yeah, I come out, the, the lad said, you know, um, Breeze was saying, you know, fighting with your, your feet, you know, um, pushing back. I managed to push him back and I seen, I land, I was, he was doing a bit of head movement, but I, I, I got the timing, landing my jab, then next thing I landed my right hand, I dropped him with that, he got back up. I clinched up with him and I felt, I felt strong in the clinch, so I was landing some knees, some elbows. I broke away, I think he, he caught me with a nice elbow on the break, but um, when I got back, I thought I'm going to stick with the clinch, because I felt strong in there, stick with the clinch and landed a great knee. So we saw, again, you finished the fight on the cage. I mean, this has been a particularly strong suit of yours. So against Jack Gran, um, we've seen him many, many fights. Do you think he didn't research how dangerous you were when you get in that position? No, I'm sure he would have researched and, and done, his, um, done his homework on me, you know what I mean? Um, I just feel I backed him up. I feel, I feel I took the he let me take the centre. And the thing that was, um, that was the beginning of the end when I, when I backed him up. And I think, you know, I pushed him against the cage and that was it, I flattened him. Yeah, so let's talk about your journey, man. I mean... Uh, I know Brad Wharton likes to bang on it a bit. There was a promotion you fought for before. Mm. They let you go because th they couldn't see money in you, and they, they let you go. But now you came to Cage Warriors, you took the belt, and you're now possible on the way to UFC. I mean, what, what's that been like emotionally, and uh, you know, what, what's it mean to you now to be, you know, thinking, you know, I'm probably going to the UFC, probably going to fight on that UFC London card we'd usually get in March. It means the world to me, you know. Cage Warriors, Cage Warriors, man, a little, you know. I don't want to say it, but they're bollocks, mate, you know what I mean? I've come here, <laughs> uh, I've come out, I walked out, and it was like, it was rammed, you know what I mean? Everyone was cheering me on, I was like, bloody hell. Um, and then, you know, they flew in an American in for me to, for a fight, you know, and they looked after me, man. And so I, I repaid them with good, good performances. Yeah, man. I mean, Paddy Pimlet, he, I spoke to him the other week, yeah. he's just recently posted on Twitter that he thinks you're going to the UFC now. He now yeah. wants to fight for the vacated belt, you know. Yeah. And he also said, uh, when I interviewed him last week, that you're probably the best fighter in the division. What's it mean to get praise from guys like Paddy? Um, from yeah. from other fighters of the division, yeah, that's wicked, man. I have respect to him. You know what I mean? He's um, you know, he's a good he's a good fighter himself. He's a top fighter himself, and he just he's showing respect. You know, that's what that's what some fighters should do. That I show respect as well. He's a great fighter. You know what I mean? And um, you know, he'll he'll be in there fighting for the belt again. I'm sure. Yeah. So last question, man. Uh, now it looks like the UFC is probably going to be a done deal. Is there any sort of guys you're looking at the UFC? You know, I'm not asking for a shout out. Or anything like I know you're not yeah, keen yeah, on doing yeah. that. But is there any guys you've got an eye on particularly? <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, n not really, mate. Um, I'm gonna have a bit of a you know rest now. Spend some time with my family and stuff, and then um, just train, like you know, improving. And I'll, I'll, I'll have a look. I'll probably, probably t Breeze will probably be looking at some opponents now for me, and uh, he'll, he'll let me know. But not really. I, I haven't been looking at people. You know, I just, I just wait till they give me a name. You know what I mean? And fight them. Well, I've got to ask. Uh, well, I forgot this question. Um, we saw Fabian, Leon. Di uh, Mozu Bear, Knight and Tice Frederick, they've all came here, the whole team Renegade teams came to here. you want what do you mean to have their support, that support in your corner? Oh wicked man, they was all there like cheering me on, you know what I mean? Um, and you can see it in the faces, you know, they sincerely wish that wish wish me well, you know, they really yeah. they want me to do well, you know what I mean? You can see it in them. And that's great to have a team like that who actually, you know, who really are pushing you on and, and want to help you improve. Yeah. Okay man, and before we sign off, is there any shout outs you wanna make? Yeah, shout out to my sponsors, you know, Pitbull, um Krios, Euro Kane. Shout out to my teams, Renegade Jiu Jitsu, Fire Walker and Wolfpack Fitness. All right, Jai, thank you for your time. Sorry, shout out to my girlfriend, Jay, and, um, and all, my, all my family. All right, thank you for your time, uh, time Jai, and I'm sure we'll catch you up and we'll get a preview for your first UFC bout. Respect, bro.